guys, it's me, Kendall. I'm back with another video, and I got hamster stuff in the mail today. Uh, well, yesterday, but um, I was sleeping. So, today we are going to open it. I got it at 10 p.m. yesterday. And, okay, so, um, the first thing that we have here, obviously, I think you guys were expecting this. But, it's bedding. I like to use this bedding because it's super soft. It's a great bedding choice for your hamster and or mouse or something like that so it is the forest moss and i might get more substrates reptile sand and no calcium added i need to sift it with strainer so it's super small and it can just scoop it up get all the stuff out and i'll be doing that with the whole bag and then um after a few days my hamsters like to get messy so i'll just dig out the bedding or what ever mess they made okay next thing we got is literally in the background and it's for nesting so orchard grass hay uh the reason why i'm not using timothy hay is because timothy hay is actually a bad option for your um hamster while they're nesting because it has really sharp pieces in it and this you, hamsters can't really get hurt by it because because it's actually super soft Okay, so next up we got Eco Earth uh, cocoa fiber, uh, and it's a brick, but it's not gonna be a brick once I um, use it in the hamster's cages. So this is cocoa fiber, and yeah, it's cocoa fiber. <laughs> next thing is gonna be a hide, a two chamber multi hideout. Um, it has two rooms in it, and I actually really like this because it's like wobbly and weird. And the front of it also has the same thing. Um, and the inside of it, if you can see that. And usually they're just like circles. So I like the fun little ideas on it. And there was also a hamster one too. But I didn't end up getting it. Because I got a different one. But it's in Luna's cage right now. Oh. Okay, so the next thing we have is... Um, this little hideout and it's so cute i saw victoria rachel have this um it's made out of hay and dandelions i think and cardboard yep so it has two little entrances it's kind of like a little chill hide where your cancer just goes in and out of it so it's not really that special or anything like that but it's still really cute so i like it grapevine wood um but it doesn't look that grapevine-y I got a cork log, um, yeah, cork log. It's pretty cool. It is getting a lot of wood out of it, though, so I don't really like that, but it's fine. So that cork log, I actually really like cork logs, and I never had one before, so that's good. <laughs> Flakes and mealworms. So. <laughs> Alright guys, and the next thing we got is an automatic water bottle dispenser thing. I don't know why they call it automatic, but I guess you can... <laughs> supposed to be like this so it's a good water bottle and i might use it for like luna or oriana but not nevaeh because i'm gonna give her the one that can go in her cage so dang i keep yawning i must be really tired or i'm just not getting oxygen yeah but they ripped it open um but it's a little peach. I don't know if it's good though because it's made out of like cotton and stuff and like uh, what my bed's made out of. So I don't think it's good, but um, I'm not using them in, I'm not, but I'm not using it in their cage anyways because I'm going with a naturalistic theme and even though it's really cute and I would put it in a naturalistic theme cage, I want to know if it's good first so that I can um, keep my hamsters safe and actually see if it's um, safe first for them. So, and 
And the, the last thing, wait, not the last thing, but the third last thing, I think, I actually have had. It's a little coconut hide, and it's adorable, and it has bedding in it already because I got it a while ago. Um, but it was not in a hamster's cage, so I just put it in the video and said that I might be using it because I'm obviously going to need a lot of enrichment, so I'm probably going to use everything in this video for my hamsters. Uh. Okay, now this is pretty cool, but I'm getting the thing that it needs tomorrow, hopefully, because Amazon sometimes is lying to me, but it's a little food dispenser, and look how cute. Okay, so say if I put a little pea flake in it to get the idea of how it works. Um, oh, there's water on this. Okay, so say I get the little pea flake, and I put it right here. Or something. What? How does this work again? Oh yeah. Okay. So say I put the little pea flake in there. Now, I've seen ones that where you have to like push the button to get it out, but this is the cheapest one. So I got the cheapest one. And um, you just push it in. Oh no, the pea flake's stuck. Oh, I got it out. And there is a little pea flake for you. Here's your pea flake. But I thought this was pretty neat because it comes with a cup. And all you have to do is just use the cup, push it in, get your food, and actually just give it to your hamster. You don't really need much. All you do is, um, you don't really need much to do it. All you need is, um, this and some food or laundry detergent or, uh, wax melt things or, uh, treats or sand or maybe you want to add... I don't know what you're gonna have, but um, it can fit really anything small in it. So you can fit sand in it, you can fit food in it. So um, I'm getting the Sunburst Higgins tomorrow. So I'll definitely be showing you guys me putting that in the dispenser, but it's probably gonna be a really short video. Um, and I'll show you the last two things that I got. So one of the last things that I've got, actually, Lunar's making a big nest in it. And I'm gonna tell you big news at the end of the video. Lunar literally made a nest in it. I don't know if you can see, but she made a huge nest, and she never made a nest before. But that's the one of the things I got was that peek away hide right there, um, and she made a nest in it, so I think she likes it. She has a lot of toilet paper in there, and she's moving around a lot. Um, and for that we got sandpaper. So those are the last two things in the video, and the last thing that I got for myself was this cute little outfit that I'm wearing today, and I think it's absolutely adorable like I really like this um I currently don't have my two other hamsters with me right now I mean Lunar because I gotta take care of her um and I'll show that I tell you why at the end of the video Lunar I have babies okay th the reason why I think this is so I was at my mom's house and I just woke up and I was wondering how are my hamsters doing like they're at my dad's house like he takes care of them every day he feeds them water and I got stuff to do so I can't really watch them right now so like I want to know how they're doing maybe I'll bring one home so I was like Hey, Dad, what's up? And moments later, he texted me, how did he get out? And I was like, huh? He sent me a picture of my male Syrian, Orion, and my female Syrian, Lunar, in the same cage. And he said, how did he climb up the dresser? Now, Orion is an escape or uh, orbit. Now, Orion is an escape artist, so um, usually you'd think he was just running around on the ground, right? No, he escaped into my other hamster's cage. And I was like, oh my gosh, Dad, like, oh my gosh, you need to bring Lunar home right now. And he was like, I can't right now, but yeah. So I got her a few days later, um, once I realized that she is getting bigger because I went over to my dad's house. I was like, oh, hey, how's Luna going? Because I got to check on her to see if she's all good. She has a larger shaped body. Um, her. Uh, so she's kind of like, I don't know, because I did uh, get her 
orchard grass hay and put it in the cage and put toilet paper in her hide so that she could kind of move things around, you know, get it all organized. Um, and then I ended up switching hides, but she got used to it pretty quickly. And I left her nest alone, so don't worry. But all I did was take the hide out, put the new hide in so that I could see how her and her babies were doing if she does have them. So that's why I decided to get that hide because it's honestly a great option too. It's really cute. Um, I was expecting to get it tomorrow. I was expecting to get it tomorrow, but I didn't because Amazon, well, Amazon was being pretty kind today, so they decided so they decided to give me it today, I guess. So that's what's happening. I'm giving her bullet eggs and mealworms. I gave her carrots and pea flakes today. She's doing good. Um, it's day five, so and I have a whole list of what to do written down. So this is a list. You can pause to read up. So that's what I have in store for you guys today. And um, this was unexpected at the end because you're now kind of like, but I will see you guys on the next video. Um, so that's what I have today. And I'll update you guys once I get, once I get Orion's new cage. So bye guys.